Logan Paul's response to CoffeeZilla's scam allegations. Let's see what he did. See what he's saying. Coffeezilla. I watched your three-part series called Investigating I've been seeing this going around everywhere this morning. And like many on this platform, you have successfully used my name for views and money. While your work used to be impartial, your addiction to clicks has clouded your judgment and you've made very real errors with very real repercussions. Coffee, you took a shot at my reputation. Uh, so in this video today, I'm going to be defending myself with facts, something that you have gotten in the habit of twisting as you continue to morph from an investigator to a gossip channel. You see, Coffeezilla tried to work with law enforcement mm -hmm. in the past, but his work was described Gossip. as not anchored to truth and often speculative. He is a lopsided journalist with an agenda, and he's nothing more than the Keemstar of crypto and finance. But as opposed Keemstar. to just telling you, I'm going to show you some of the core discrepancies that I caught in Coffeezilla's investigation. Coffee, you interviewed the developer who... I thought he liked his content. He said a couple days ago he liked his stuff. And now he's, like, twisting his shit. Saying the cops don't want to work with him, so? I don't think that like discredits anything he's really done. Stole the game code, fled to Switzerland, and held it hostage for a million dollars. Well, his name is Zach Kelling. Surely, as the internet detective that you proclaim to be, you would know that he spent time in prison for multiple felonies, one for aggravated robbery, armed robbery at a liquor store, and the other for, surprise, obstructing the legal process. I can see why you kept him anonymous. Who will be calling Z here? I guess, among many things, it doesn't surprise me that he lied about having 30 engineers and a $50,000 a week burn rate. Oh, my head, I which side note is how this delusionist landed on the million dollar code ransom but it turns out he only had three engineers wouldn't someone with journalistic integrity know their credible source had not only an agenda but a fondness for orange jumpsuits or did you just hear what you wanted to hear and moved on because even if you're lying to yourself steven you still have to believe it. And I know what you're thinking. What type of idiot would work with an unsavory individual that's like that? That's really my Kelly? question. <laughs> I guess that's what I get for trusting the team that I relied on to vet and manage all, Eddie's hiring. Not only for just this guy, but for all these guys. Like, he picked this guy and the rest process, of Process, who has turned out to be a professional con man that I have since learned fooled billionaires, the Mormon church, the owner of the New York Yankees, and now... Me. And yeah, surely like that guy knew too. Emilio, the gentleman who supposedly let his child invest in a cryptocurrency, was allegedly responsible for two rug pulls before you interviewed him. So either you missed that or you knew it and failed to let the public know. Why? Because it was a clear sign that he was also untrustworthy. You seemed pretty excited when the guy told you that he couldn't hatch the eggs. Wait, you can't even hatch? No, I'm telling you, it's just a picture. You're kidding! You can't hatch? You're kidding! You can't hatch? You can't hatch? Uh, yeah, one second of research research would prove that to be false as you can definitely hatch eggs and even breed your animals click on that oh we got a duck and as you pointed out in your fine print cross hatching was available on eth at one point but you perpetuated the opposite as truth with your chest out basically nothing worked and by the way guy almost all nfts are just pictures. but wasn't there oh, tons of people and surely a real internet detective but there was a good chunk of them that were getting shut down not by like the game not working it was like the process of the payment on one side that still never got fixed though active would not break criminal and civil laws in trying to get information right so why have you allowed the illegal recording of jeff's phone call without his permission and then more like an internet criminal post it online and it was interesting it was like now, although you didn't verify any backgrounds, substantiate any evidence, took multiple criminals' words as truth, and broke laws, you still published the defamation. However, unlike you, the blockchain doesn't lie. So let's highlight some things that you did point out. Crypto King J. But to be fair, CoffeeZilla was trying to get <laughs> like Logan Paul's verification for like a year. He waited a whole year to drop that trilogy though. And now, man straight fighting back. Now he's coming out because, like, he has to. Straight defense mode, you know? He stole $6 million. True or not, we had already removed him from the team when we realized he was a bad actor and his motives just were verified. financial. Con man Eddie, lead developer, stole $1.7 million. True or not, when we learned he was a bad actor as well, he was immediately removed from the team. While myself and Jeff sold nothing and made nothing as verified through investigation and the blockchain. Jeff, Logan's manager, to my knowledge, never sold. Neither did Logan Paul. I repeat, 
Jeff and I made no money and will never make any money on CryptoZoo. In fact, we only lost money trying to pick up the pieces, as has been the case with dozens of crypto and NFT. Yeah, but a big problem with the zoo in the beginning thing is that they were trying to set it up as a scam in the get-go. Like, the game was never supposed to even, like, be a thing or, like, anything. It was always, like, a rug pull. At least it sounded like projects the space is unfortunately ripe for bad actors to infiltrate projects that start with even the best intentions jake the snake is no longer affiliated with crypto zoo and we hope the money he reappropriated was worth ruining his reputation con man eddie is being investigated by a higher authority that i cannot speak on as you can imagine i was not cleared from legal to discuss much of this including the legal process being undertaken and the criminal investigations going on during the fallout but i do appreciate you calling out that rats under my nose stole the game code millions of dollars and left Jeff and I abandoned with no team and knives in our back. But even after 12 months of work, you've still managed to overlook one crucial piece of information. See, even though I've said it's coming so many times, you've assumed that CryptoZoo isn't being made. Who are you to decide when the development timeline ends? I got everything stolen from me and our community. Stop promoting publicly as soon as I knew the ex Yeah, but the community kind of decided that you well, and him kind of decided that the game was done when he moved on to his next project. Like, when he moves on to another project and leaves his other one in the dark, like, yeah, people are going to assume that's already done because, like, he makes it seem like it's done. He ain't done shit about it for, like, two years. Three years, something like that. <laughs> that's how, like, people figure out that or figure that it's done of the internal issues took all of the heat on social and you still published a defamatory hit piece fully knowing I was innocent just so you could enrich yourself in your $10 million studio. Sharp, but deeply unethical, dangerously misleading, and illegal. I suggest you use the money you got from pumping your Patreon to hire a good lawyer. You're gonna need it. And maybe we could have talked about this if you had reached out to me. Pers Wait, what? Is he like threatening to sue? For like, for what? defamation and illegal i suggest you use the money you got from pumping your patreon to hire a good lawyer you're gonna need it and maybe we could have <laughs> right. talked about this if you had reached out to me personally not my manager jeff who is not me me steven but the first time you did was on christmas eve after you released your series so you could rely on false statements and unreliable people used recklessly the subject line was third request for comment yeah not quite this will be my third time reaching out to you and your team the first two times were through your manager jeff the first two times were through your manager jeff okay so the last time on christmas eve after the fact was to me you have a funny way of twisting things and i also noticed you left out that part on twitter why hide that trust me crypto zoo is coming i will make damn sure of it and honestly <laughs> if Right. It sucks Surely. that after years of personal reform, going through trials and tribulations and busting... It makes it sound like CoffeeZilla didn't try to get in touch with him. He did just say, like, he tried to talk to his manager. It's not him, but that seems like the best formal way for Zilla to get to Logan. It feels like his manager just trying to protect, perhaps? Like, I don't know. Busting my ass to evolve into a person that I can say I'm actually proud of, you led the charge to drive and monetize a narrative telling millions of people that I'm a fraud or I tried to scam my audience. That is patently false. This video is mainly for my fans and anyone who's on the fence that I hope I can help understand a situation that is tremendously complex but has been oversimplified for both views and clicks. And lastly, CoffeeZilla, I now know your motives with this. Clout and money, good for you, but also your, your slimiest. So I'm not gonna come on any of your podcasts. If you wanna come on Impulsive and talk about this, that's fine. You've denied my invitation multiple times. You're still invited. It can be a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, if not, we're going to handle this ourselves while we continue to build CryptoZoo, and I'll see you in court. <laughs> right. So no apology. No reference to Dink Doink. <laughs> Just uh, saying the CryptoZoo is coming this year or next year. Very interesting. Took really no responsibility. He just kind of shifted all the blame. Hmm. That was interesting. Man, straight gonna take him to court too. Not really sure for what, but uh, yeah, I don't know. That just felt kind of weird. That just felt really kind of weird. There's a lot of shifting. I wonder, like, 
What are the comments saying? Reaching out through Logan's management is not the way to reach Logan. Got it. <laughs> right? That seems like that seems like the way too for Zilla to go about it, but uh I guess not. Imagine threatening someone after scamming a bunch of investors, right? <clears throat> it's like hiring a team of former bank robbers to run a new bank. You decided to open, true. It's weird, he takes no responsibility for like picking these guys that he he hired and shit. Very weird. That was interesting. I feel like Coffeezilla is going to have an interesting reaction to that. I wonder if he's going to make a video about it, tweet about it. It'd be interesting to see what the men say. The men probably will not let it go lightly. <laughs> probably got some shit he wants to say.